A gas station receipt, 18 of them, from a shell station just outside Towson, Maryland. Kurtzweil stopped there every third Thursday of every even month, even if he'd filled up the day before. On three of his 18 visits, this SUV was present two hours before the dead drop. The SUV was registered to the wife of a Turkish oil executive that paid for plane tickets used by an Iranian suspect in the bombing of a Jewish community center in Buenos Aires in 1994. The thinnest thread connects Kurtzweil and his contact and the machine could see it. It knew, and it was right. It does this all the time. To all of us? That's terrifying. It's probably a good thing that you're the only other person that will ever see how this machine works. When it's complete, I'll encrypt the OS so completely that no computer on Earth will ever crack it. Does it bother you? I mean, what you've achieved, it's historic. No one will ever know. It's the way it has to be, to be sure. Sure of what? Sure that they'll use it the way I intended. So you think the government would abuse this machine? Denton Weeks has spent the last six months trying to tunnel into the machine by way of the NSA feed. He's failed, but he'll keep trying. And he won't be alone. I don't even want to think about what a man like Weeks would do with that kind of power. That's why we have to keep him or anyone else from ever getting their hands on it. You sure it was weeks? The machine told me. It has an instinct for self-preservation. You talk about that thing like it's alive. Shh. It can hear you.